Okay, we're back at it again. <clears throat> a couple hours gone by, but oh well. All right, I got the uh, smaller washer in here. Still got a little bit of clearance in it. So that's as tight as I want to put it for now. Which means the pies is gonna get. So I got all my studs figured out. Ready to bolt this thing together for good, hopefully. All wiped off. I looked at the bearing sticking out further than it should, and I don't really see any reason for it to be made that way. I mean, I figure the case race is a little bit shorter than what it should be, is the only thing I can think of. They got the normal thick spacer right built into there. Like to the shaft should all be the same length, and this is a stock crank dimension. It's made for the 93 and later snout, so it sticks out further here, but that doesn't matter if it sticks out more in the earlier cover, it doesn't hurt anything. So, I don't know why the bearing sticks through. I don't like it, but oh well. It's the only thing I don't like about it. It's a Harley. I live with it. I also took the spacer here and sanded the outside down there to give a nice smooth finish to it for the seal. So we're reusing this old one. I didn't show that. That's just sanding. Oh, Scooby's coming. Look out. There's a killer dog. What's up, Scooby? What? What do you want? Scooby wants something down there. Good oh boy. Wandering through. Past his dinner time. He ain't happy. All right, so we're going to goop this up. So there's what I'm using. Everybody ask. It's three bond, 1184 gray. Works good. Looks like that. So I put on my finger. That's my intentional for mounting it. And you take a goob and you put it on where you want it. Do not stick a big layer of crap inside your case. It's not needed. Snap bugger. Look at that. Just put a nice thin layer on there. Don't make it thick, just a thin layer. Just enough to coat the surface. That's all you need. Unless your case has a big gouge in it. And you probably should have done something about that beforehand. It is basically just prime the surface, make it get an even coat on it. This stuff doesn't like going back over twice, so put it on there quick, be done with it. Starts making big lines of big stringy turds if you keep going over it. All right, one layer on that side. We'll put a layer on this. Now this one you got the lip sticking up, so I put a layer right into the lip. I do not do that on the other side. If you put a big layer in here, I'll just squirt all over the place. Both inside and outside. We don't care about outside, we care about inside. Okay, so I want to make sure this lip has a good layer in there. So I'll make sure I do a good job. Slide it right up in there and wipe off the excess. I don't pile it up on top of the lip, I just plug it into the lip. And if you don't want to get your fingers dirty, don't become a mechanic. 
part of being a job. So just put the layer right in there, go like that. If you anything on the inside, wipe it off. Hard, bo hard booger piece right here. Came off the container. Just gotta get rid of that. You don't want that in between the case, that has caused problems. There's another one on there now. Another one. Coming off the outside of the container right here. And pull this back out again. There we go. No more contamination now. Kind of squeeze it right in there. takes let it set up for about a minute wipe off any stringy burgers there all right it's enough time to get tacky with my oil at good time to oil up your bearings and stuff you want to get oiled case is going together next so I yeah, don't put none of this on your oil gasket surface so it won't work very well too damn long. I should have it up before. Alright, let's get this thing together before it gets too tacky. Squish it down a little bit. Alright. My two dowel studs here. Put these two in first because they pull everything together. Line it up. Come over here. See a little better. Okay, so this is my top one. Washer I'm using for that. Get nice chrome bolts to go for the two right here. Get a short one. I got rid of the uh, bolts that were on there before. We got studs off the earlier models, so we got nice acornets on both sides, just like the customer wants. And these are low profile acorn nuts, so they don't stick up very high. Get a little 
little bit of a dome to them, they're not real pointy. somebody's boat. And there's an extra one. Who knows? Sure, what that is from. Yeah, extra. Okay, I'm tighten up a little bit. Bottom first. And the top one up here. And two bolts. Nuts on the front, back cylinder, back case. And you go the same procedure again, torquing them. Tight they are. They're not tight. Crank turns over. It's a good sign. Okay, now you wipe off the excess sealer here. Keep it out of the case if you can. Sticks to the rag a little bit. What's nice about the sealer is it rubs off. Just rub back and forth and it comes off. Ideally, you want to see a nice even layer on the outside of the case. If you see gaps where there's nothing there or tons of it, that means you didn't do it evenly. So you have a nice even layer coming across, a couple of high spots, but pretty even all the way around. Nice layer all the way across. That means it's sealed 100%. You got a spot where there's no sealer in there, it might leak. That means you didn't put enough in there. I'm using this nice experienced rag here. Try to put a new piece each time as I roll around here. Comes off pretty cleanly. Alright, find a cleaner section here to use now. Just 
rub back and forth. It takes off the excess. Kind of just balls up and falls away. Make sure you get off the motor mount so that the motor will sit in the frame correctly. But you seal it right there. The motor won't really sit in the bike very well. Probably loosen up on you and make a lot of vibration. One nice thing about this is the same color as the case, so it kind of blends in a little bit. Get off the bench. Clear coat this. I'm going to use a little bit of brake clean. See if it'll clean up a little better. I don't usually do this. Just put a little bit on the rag here. We get rid of that black mark or the gray mark we put on there. The filthy gray mark. Appears to be cleaned up pretty good. case later so try to make it look as good as we can. This motor's gonna be in Hong Kong so it's got a lot of uh, corrosive elements in that area. Like Florida but worse. So the clear coat has a very high salt spray test. It's over 6,500 plus hour salt spray test, which is way harder than anything I've ever heard of before. So once it's on there, it should be nice and clean and stay that way for a lot of years. I'm guessing it should stay this color for like 10 years. Be my guess. Whatever it looks like now, it'll probably stay that way. All right. Looks pretty clean. There you go. Just run the gasket surface. All the way up around, across the case tacks. back down this side. So I got a little bit stuck right in there, but I'm not going to worry about that area. It's hard to get in there. I'm going to worry about it. All right, so now i got to put a seal in there so it won't get anything in the left main bearing. <clears throat> it's kind of important. seal installer. 
Anybody know what that is? Pull out the gasket set now. That blown up? Nope. Using a James metal base gasket set. That number there. I like these sets the best. Comatic makes a good MLS head gasket, but all the early gaskets suck. The holes are way too big, so the gasket just float all over the place. Made stupidly, as I would call it. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, so let's get through the crap we don't need. There, I need that seal right there. That's just other stuff we're not using. So they call it metal because these gaskets are metal. They got a piece of metal down the center so they don't blow out. That's why I like them. Okay, we're going to need our base gas, or not base gas, we need our cam cover gasket here. This one here. We need a couple base gaskets for the lifter blocks. And we got oil pump gaskets in here, we're not using those because we're using a different oil pump. So the crap we're not using for now. Okay. I think we've got, got access to it now. <clears throat> okay, this has our point seal in here and our left hand main seal. All those O-rings there, probably for the head gaskets, be my guess. And the other ones are probably for the oil pump plugs or something. All right, there's our point cover, and there's our left main seal. Okay, this does not have the wipers in it like they used to have, so they get kind of cheap on their seals. It does have the sealer on the OD, which will help keep it from leaking, I guess, a little bit. Okay, so you can put in backwards like Harley does, like this, which means it keeps the oil from coming into the motor. It does not keep the oil from going out of the motor. That's kind of stupid. I flip around the other way. This keeps the oil inside the motor and doesn't, and it can come out. It can, uh, if it wants to try to get in, it can, but the chance of that happening ain't going to happen. So, but we don't want the oil to come out of the motor. At least that's how I like it to be. Harley has other theories. I'm sure they're very good ones too. Okay, put a little uh, oil on there. Okay, I put it on here first. Let's already polish this up to a nice smooth finish. Compress it with your thumb there, roll it around. If the lip inverts, take it back out and get the lip to be even. See how the lip is even on the inside in there? The spring is still on there. You didn't wrap it around on itself. On this side, you should see a nice even lip all the way around also. If you don't, you did something wrong. Okay, that just goes on in there. This is standard carburetor style setup, not fuel injection style. All right. Use big hammer. it in there. Here it's all the way in. That means it's all the way in. You let the weight of the hammer do the work, not you beating on it. Sealer still on my table. Missed a couple spots. So this goes in all the way now. Wipe off the excess. 
There you go. Main bearings in. Don't have to worry about that now. That'll keep 99% of the crap out of the motor. All right, so that's basically how I consider a lower end being done right now. And then from here on, you start putting the, uh, the cam chest together, which is this side. So we'll be back in a minute.